The year 1860 was a time of change for America. Tensions between the North and South were growing, and the upcoming election promised to change the course of history. The nation was still reeling from John Brown's raid the year before, but for the citizens of Harpers Ferry, life went on. Still, for them, change was unavoidable. 22nd of February, 1860. February 16, 1860, sentencing. Aaron D. Stevens. You have been indicted and tried by the jury of the country. You have been found guilty of advising and conspiring slaves to rebel and make insurrection. With conspiring with John Brown and others to make insurrection. And you, Albert Hazlitt. You have been found of murder in the first degree and deliberately killing and murdering George Turner and others. First of March, 1860, Washington's birthday. At Harper's Ferry, the day was celebrated with unusual enthusiasm. The ball at the Wager House was well attended. March 8, 1860, the cost of the Harpers Ferry Affair. It has been reported that the John Brown Affair cost the state of Virginia $185,567. Of that, $81,140 alone was paid to the military. March 15, 1860, Jefferson Guards. The legislature has passed a bill appropriating $1,000 for uniforms for the Jefferson Guards. Comrades! I am proud to say that we have finally got some new uniforms. Jack. Daniel. Joseph. March 22nd, 1860. Ladies' Fair. The object of the fair is to organize and equip the volunteer force which Shawstown and vicinity can raise. The women have concluded to lend their approval by a hearty effort towards organizing, disciplining, and uniforming the soldiers of the neighborhood. Come then, one and all, stand by the Daughters of Virginia. Thank you for supporting the militia. 5th of April, 1860, House of Representatives, Armory Appropriation Bill. The committee has reported the sum of $250,000 for the armories instead of the usual amount of $400,000 from the Master Armor at Harbors Ferry. Dear Sir, I find the sum only sufficient to operate this armory seven months. This bill, if passed, will be as effectively complete and drive from the place at least one half of our best citizens who are only sustained by a hope of the future. Hey guys, stop working. We had to cut back on some employees, and we're letting you guys go. I'm sorry. The year of change had come. As 1860 passed by, Harper's Ferry dealt with the financial effects of John Brown's raid. Fear of more slave uprisings led to slave patrols in the streets. As tension between the North and South grew, militia units were built up and fairs and balls to support them held. And when Congress failed to give the armory enough money, many citizens lost their jobs. The presidential election grew nearer, and like the rest of the country, Harper's Ferry residents wondered what 1861 would bring.
Is this word in indicted or indict? indicted? Indicted. Indicted. Hasta la vista, baby.